Hi everybody, this is Brad from Board Game Geek. Um, I am starting a new series of video reviews of video games. These are games that uh, I feel uh, fit well with the BGG crowd and maybe something you want to check out if you're both a board gamer and a video gamer. The first up this week is Fez. Fez is an exploration puzzle platformer where you, where you play the title character wearing a Fez and seek after cubes hidden in a world that you once thought was merely 2D but has been revealed to be three-dimensional. This uh, allows for very creative puzzles and this game features a very unique design. As you obtain more of these blocks hidden throughout the world, you will unlock more and more levels with varying designs and sets. Many reviewers have commented that the game is hard to navigate with its many different screens, but I think the map is actually quite informative and actually shows you what you still have to collect in the different areas, such as where there are cubes and where there are secrets to be discovered. As a video gamer, I kind of missed out on the indie scene until I discovered iOS, so many of games such as Braid and Limbo are things that I have not yet experienced, so I can't really compare them to this game. What I can say though is Fez has really impressed me. I enjoy the art style, it's very interesting, and I enjoy that it's a very relaxing exploration game. There is no combat, there is really no death. You can fall, but you just appear where you fell from. But it's all about exploration and discovering these beautiful maps and these interesting puzzles that they've designed for you. I really think that this fits um, with a lot of board game mentality because it encourages you to explore and to solve puzzles using your brain rather than dexterity or, or skill. The design of Fez may not be for every player. It is very relaxed and there's not a lot of action going on. But it was, from reports, five years in the making and really you can see uh, the care and design time that it took to create these very intricate retro style of the worlds. So even if you perhaps not, might not be a fan of the gameplay, it definitely is worth checking out based just on its look and also its soundtrack, which is quite interesting in a retro kind of way. Fez has sparked my interest in indie video gaming and is one of those games that can tell Roger Ebert that perhaps games can be art. It has got a very low price point of $10 and I believe should be experienced by any video game lover.